Hey guys, I'm Avil, back again with another video. This time it's about this Nokia 8.1 and Redmi Note 7. In this video, I'm going to do a speed test comparison and RAM management comparison of these two devices. And we'll see how significant will be the difference between Snapdragon 710 and Snapdragon 660. So before we start, if you're new to my channel, then do the subscribe button to watch more videos of this kind. And if you've already subscribed, a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. So let's start with the reboot first. One, two, three. Now, as I told you, this one is running with a Snapdragon 710 processor and this one is having Snapdragon 660 processor. And another difference is that this one is having 4 GB of RAM and this one is having 3, 3 GB of RAM. So we'll see due to these differences how significant will be the difference. Now let's check which one will reboot the device faster. We'll wait and see which is going to be the winner. Okay, so we have to wait. Nokia, already the sound is there. Here. Oh, here you can see that the 660 is faster I will see which one has loaded the interface yes uh, actually the screen came on this one faster but it it is taking to load the settings here the interface yeah this is the difference otherwise I think the reboot timing was almost same so do let me know your observation now let's start with the you know the apps okay let's start with the phone app first one two three Nokia 8.1 do let me know your observation okay camera one two three I think you let me know I missed it <laughs> okay now okay next will be the Play Store one two three Nokia 8.1 clear winner okay next uh, settings one two three it was really fast on you know this uh, okay 8.1 do let me know your observation okay now YouTube and both of these devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi okay so we'll see which one will load YouTube first okay again you can see that this has done it faster Okay, now let's uh, check Chrome. Where is Chrome here? Okay, this one. So one, two, three. Okay, again we have the winner here, 8.1. Now let's uh, load one web page. GSM Arena, my favorite one. Okay, do let me know which is the website that you follow to get tech news, okay? Okay, let's load it. One, two, three. Oh, this one is really fast. As I told you in my last video also, this one, this 8.1, uh, is really, really swift in terms of, uh, you know, internet surfing, browsing. It's really good on this one, really fast. Okay, now let's uh, do the next thing. Photos app. Okay, where is Photos app? Here, here. One, two, three. Again, 8.1, I believe both of them took same time. Do let me know your observation. Okay, now next will be the game, the real test. Okay, where is PUBG here? Yeah. PUBG, PUBG, PUBG. Where is PUBG? Yeah, this one. Okay, so one, two, three. Now this will be the real test because already, you know, uh, a, a few apps are already running in the background so we'll see which one will actually load the game faster and this is one of the most heavy graphics you know games so this will check the speed here so here you can see that 8.1 has already uh, ahead now we'll see which one will actually give us the home screen faster and do let me know if you're using these devices do let me know about the you know the gaming experience so here you can see that we have the clear winner here Nokia 8.1 so this will actually give you some idea that uh, this Nokia 7.2 uh, no, 7. 7. 
which is coming with the same Snapdragon 660 processor, how will be the speed? Obviously, you can expect some kind of, you know, improvement in terms of speed because that will come with uh, stock Android, you know, because this one is running with Redmi, you know, MIUI. Okay, so that is also a factor. So we'll see that. So in terms of loading the game, this is the winner here. Okay, so now what we will do, we'll see the RAM management now. Okay, I'm not going to load uh, too many apps because normally uh, we don't actually load uh, too many apps, right? It is maximum five or six. Okay, so we have already done that, I believe. Now let's check the RAM management. Now let's go to the the website first here it is still in the memory same here okay then YouTube still in the memory good here oh it is loading here so I have found it that uh, this Redmi Note 7 has a really aggressive uh, I would say you know RAM management that's why it kills or reloads the app okay now the real test PUBG still in the memory we'll see whether it is here or not so you can see that no it is it's still in the memory so that's a good thing so you let me know now that uh, is there any significant difference between 660 and 710 in the comment sections okay so do let me know your opinions so that's it in this video and i believe that you liked it and if you have liked it then do hit the subscribe button and do share your opinions in the comment section so till the next video guys cheers